welcome back. Today we are going to be making my favorite lotion bars and all you're really going to need is a glass pitcher or a glass container bowl, any of those will work. You're going to need some coconut oil, shea butter, and beeswax. All of these are equal measurements of 4.5 ounces. Now you're going to need some essential oil. I use lavender because it's my favorite ever. You're going to need a spatula to mix everything with and you're also going to need some molds. I have these silicone molds because I make soap also and they work great. They create really pretty shapes but if you don't have these a bread tin or any other container will work just as well. And I have some citrus sage incense so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm back. So the first thing you're gonna do is entertain your five month old. Grab your hot plate and continue entertaining said five month old. All right, so go ahead and grab a pot of water. Put your lid on and you're gonna put your stove on high and all you're gonna do is just boil this water because we're gonna make a double boiler to melt all of our fats together. While you're waiting for that to boil, go ahead and just bring over the rest of your ingredients. And just a note of when you're getting your ingredients together, uh, if you don't have shea butter, if you have just coconut oil and beeswax, you can make it with just coconut oil, but I think that the shea butter definitely adds something a little extra. Grab your essential oil. Lavender, like I said, is my absolute favorite, but again, you can use whichever scent that you want. Um, geranium will be really nice, or even rose would be really cool too. And once your water's boiling, I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit so that it's not boiling as rapidly. Alright, and then you're just going to go ahead and combine all of your beeswax, coconut oil, and shea butter into your glass container. And if it doesn't want to pour out all at once, just give it a little help. You want to make sure that you scrape all of it out of there. I'm using a glass pitcher here because it's just a lot easier. One, it's heat safe. Two, it's really easy to pour with it. But even if you use just a glass bowl or any other heat safe thing, we'll do just fine. And once everything's in there, go ahead and just place your glass container in or over your pot. Give it a little stir, try to get it equally incorporated. And then just kind of let it all melt together. And come back for the spatula that you left in the glass container. And just a tip that I did not use in this video, maybe just grate your shea butter because it's going to melt a lot faster especially with the beeswax. Just keep watching it while it melts and give it a stir here and there just to kind of help it along. I'm really curious to know how many of you guys actually use lotion bars because I did not know about these things until probably a year or so ago and then they completely changed my life if you've never tried them. So much better than lotion, a lot faster, so much more moisturizing. Can't say enough about them. And while you're waiting for that, go ahead and grab yourself a cup of tea. And then at this point, you can just give it a little stir and keep stirring until the last bit of beeswax is dissolved into that oil mixture. And just keep stirring, stirring, stirring until it's nice and well combined and everything is fully melted. That is 
perfect right there. And then you're gonna set your oil to the side, let it cool a little bit, and you're gonna grab your molds and get those ready. Now go ahead, grab whatever essential oil you're using. Again, lavender over here. I like a pretty strong smelling lotion bar, so I'm gonna add about 25 drops of lavender into there. If you like it not so strong, go ahead and go with 15 to 20 drops, and if you like it really, really strong, you can go a full 30 drops. Okay, and now we're ready to go ahead and pour this into our molds. Really don't need a lot of molds because as you can see this recipe doesn't make a lot of lotion bars but if you were to just use the whole glass pitcher into that big mold that I have that would have filled it up or a bunch of the small ones but hey better to be over prepared all right guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe stick around for another video and I will see you next week